Now, one of the dead giveaways that you're dealing with a covert narcissist or any type of a toxic relationship for that matter is that they tend to live in a world that's based on who's who. And now they drag you into their world that's based on who's who. They compete with you and compare you in this world that's based on who's who. And then ultimately they demean you and they devalue you all based in this world that is who's who as opposed to what's what. And now the problem is in the world that's built on who's who is that there is no truth and there is no justice in the world that's built on who's who. This leaves you in a place of severe cognitive dissonance as you endure an awful lot of being gaslit and lies and smear campaign because you're in a world that's based on who's who and not any truth, not any what's what. And so we want to get out of this world and we would get back over into the life that's based on justice and truth and a life that's based on what's what. My name is Kevin and this is The Royal We. Now, in order to get back into the world where we want to be, which is the world of justice and truth and what's what instead of who's who, we have to be able to dismiss their world of who's who altogether. And in order to dismiss that world that you and I have been dragged into, we have to stand back, go no contact, and start to look at things from a different perspective. Let's first take a look at how toxic covert narcissists build this world of who's who around you. Now, understand that this world is built primarily on false narratives. Now, the Royal We has done videos in the past talking about false narratives, but in this message, it's extremely important because you're going to be able to see how false narratives have built a world around us that's built largely on who's who. So let's give, oh, go, let's go over some examples of the false narratives. So example number one would be in a world based on who's who. It would be the narcissist playing the victim saying, I've had a rough childhood or I was mistreated as a child or I've had a rougher life than you therefore that's why I am the way I am and I'm mean and I'm an asshole and this and that because of my upbringing that's a false narrative that's absolutely wrong there are people who have had worse upbringings than the toxic covert narcissist you're dealing with and in in all reality covert narcissists had no issues other than they were probably spoiled or entitled all their life and never shown any discipline okay which can be a form of neglect but it in no way shape or form fits the truth that they get to mistreat anybody else so again that's a false narrative here's another example of a false narrative maybe you are a good christian you go to church and you strive to love and forgive and show mercy and compassion and boy covert narcissists love to use that against you. In fact, you've probably heard, hey, aren't you supposed to be a Christian? Why don't you just let it bounce off your shoulders? Why don't you be more forgiving? Why don't you blah, 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 blah. Again, false narratives. They're using the false narrative that you somehow are supposed to be thicker skinned and just let abuse bounce off you, right? False narratives. And again, you can see how this is built on a world of who's who. You're supposed to be this in my world. It's all built on who's who. Let's talk a little bit about the hierarchies in covert narcissist lives, right? Typically, they have a hierarchy structure. Oftentimes, parents or grandparents sit at the top of the structure. They get away with whatever, right? And then this is so-and-so, and they can be this way because that's who they are, and they're so-and-so, and you can't be this because you're not there. It's kind of like a they, they operate on these these hierarchies where you have to work your way into a position. This is what the world looks like in a who's who. And the problem is that if trouble starts to form, when they start to gossip and do smear campaigns, they don't base it off of any facts. They base it off of who's who. Well, it came from so-and-so that you said this, and I believe so-and-so because they're a who's who. And there's no truth to it whatsoever. How many of you have been lied about? by a toxic narcissist, all right? So moving on now, we have to understand that there is no justice. This is the second point. There's no justice in their world of who's who. There's no justice. It's all based on who the person is. Well, my grandma said this, and I believe my grandma. 
I, I didn't hear it, but I believe it. She says, you're evil, you're evil. That's who's who, right? They don't have the ability. Covert narcissists, their dead giveaway is they have no ability to stop and say, wait a minute. So, so let me get your side of the story. They don't care about your side of the story because you're not a who's who in their world of who's who. And this is what makes it different than the world of what's what, which is a world based on the actual truth and reality, right? So there's no justice. So you have to get away from this because you're not in a world of justice when you're playing their game of who's who. There's no justice in that world whatsoever. Now, the third point that you have to understand is that in order to completely break away from this world of who's who, you have to go no contact. You have to sever ties, and that means you have to shut them down and not associate with them for a while. You've got to do that because you've got to pull back long enough to be able to identify, whoa, I've been lied about, gossiped about, they're lying about everybody uh, around me. They're they're living in a world of who's who. There's no facts going on. And they've pulled you into that world and you're defending yourself in this world of who's who. And you can't defend yourself because you're defending yourself against lies. How do you defend yourself against lies? You can't. So you have to draw back and say, well, I'm not going to get involved in that world. This means no contact. This means distancing yourself from the situation completely, which means then you have to stop to, to start dissecting and breaking down the false narratives. The only way to heal is to understand, okay, listen, I don't care who they say they are. I don't care if they're parents. I don't care if they're the children. They're no more important than anybody else. I don't care if, if they had a rough life growing up. That doesn't mean that they get to treat people the way they do. I don't care if I'm supposed to be a Christian. That doesn't mean I let people get away with whatever they want to get away with. This is how you start to crush the false narratives that they live with in the world of who's who. Listen, I want to be a part of your healing journey and helping you to crush the false narratives. Visit www.jointheroyalwe.com where you can schedule one-on-one -on -one time with me. We can FaceTime. We can have a telephone call. We can have a text message appointment. It's up to you. Also, every Monday night is Royal We Live Chat. Uh, join me every Monday night live at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time where we ask questions, answer questions. You can even call in for free as long as you know that we are live. Every Saturday morning is Royal We Fellowship, an in-depth Bible study. We are going from Genesis all the way to the end, and we're applying it to this toxic world of narcissism. It's unlike any other Bible study you've been a part of. You can find the links to everything you need down below in the description box. So scroll on down there, click those links, and I'll be back with more videos right here on The Royal Week.